be brief so that we can take as many uh, as possible. Bless the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Joseph Onoja. I came from Wagalada region, Dubai district. It happened that uh, the police then detained my, ch uh, my child since two months ago. All my effort to see him, proof about it. And then, where I hear, say, Kumoye is coming to Abuja here. I say, that's, that's all. I tell God that that first leg, where you step down from plane, that first leg will scatter that problem, and then my son will come back to me before he leave Abuja. And then when the program started the day before yesterday, I tell God, my relationship with you in deeper life since 1981, you never disappoint me. This one, I went to go, I went to come to congregation of children of God to give testimony before, before this program will finish. I went to, to release my son for me. Yesterday, I was late around the quarter to five. I carried my Bible to run to church. The military came out. My phone rang. I picked the phone. They said the OC in charge of that department went to see me now, now. I said, is that so? I looked to go to church. I, looked, I called the man. Could you make it possible tomorrow? He said, no. He said, went to see me before two hours. I went to that place. The military went to that place. He came. He said, take your child away. Any day when we need him, we are going to inform him. I take it away from that place without pay cover. Glory be to God. I trust God. And then all the suggestions from different flame quarters to me, when that trouble was start, I reject it. I told them, say, I have a God. And then he have told me, say, he's able to keep me against of that day. How can I go into a human being and talk to him? Bless the Lord. God bless, bless us. And then deeper life, I will stay and die. And then I will bury in deeper life. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, you can do better than that. Put your hands together for Jesus. Who has done it? Who has done it? Yes, yeah, divine connection. Divine connection. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Divine connection. Divine connection. Hallelujah. Ah, you, I can see you're already catching it. You're catching yours. Before you sit down, are you catching it? Catching it. Catching it. I'm catching my. I'm catching my. Hallelujah. Now welcome, sir. Amen. And amen. Oh, you want to clap again? Feel free to clap again. Feel free to clap again. Hallelujah. Blessing. Blessing. Miracles. 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 Amen. Divine. That is it. That is it. The Lord did it for our brother, and we are listening to the next testifier. And get ready. Tonight, you will give your own testimony. Your own testimony will be full. Full. In the name of Jesus. Yes, next testifier. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. I am Bulus Deborah by name from Primary School District, uh, Kutu Soho Group of District, Wagwalada. I want to thank God for his faithfulness in my life. By grace, I am saved. Before the coming of Pastor, uh, our Father the Lord, last April, I was sick. My two legs cannot carry me. I thought that was the end of my life. But God said no. I, I, I never wanted to come the first day we had to meet here. My husband had encouraged me and I said, how can I trek from that place to this side? But God strengthened me and I came. That first day, I did not get my miracle. The sickness persists. I cannot sleep. I cannot walk. The vein from the back of my leg down to the toe of my leg is not working again. I cannot climb this staircase. I said, this is the end of my life. But God said no. After the last day of the, pro of the program, I did not receive my miracle. I was sad. I was weeping. My husband was encouraging me. My leaders were encouraging me. My women coordinator, group women coordinator was encouraging me, praying along with me. Then I went to the hospital. 
I was given series of tests. When I mean series of tests, tests from the crown of my head down to the sole of my feet. But God never wanted to share his glory with any man. When this test result came out, not even paracetamol was given to me. And everything vanished. I can sleep like a newborn baby. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Put your hands together for Jesus once again. As we hear of these great, great things the great God is doing, you need to put your hands together, worship the Lord, celebrate Jesus. The Lord has done it for her. The Lord takes the glory for the miracle of healing, deliverance, and he will do yours tonight. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Thomas Kezia. I'm from Bari Region, Conqueror's Group, Holiness District. I also thank God for what he has done for me. For the past few days, I've been having this boil in my left arm, this swelling from nowhere. I don't know where it came from. It's, it came with so much pain that I couldn't even lift my hand without supporting it with my left hand. But yesterday, I was in my district, and during the prayers, I believed and I hope that God would give me my miracle. That night, our Father and the Lord prayed for us. And this morning, I woke up and I discovered the swelling, the pain, everything gone. Oh, to say, let the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Pain, swelling, everything. Everything. And whatever it is of the devil that you planted in your body, in your life, in your family, in your business, tonight... Gone in Jesus' name. Expect your miracle. The same man of God that God used is in the house with us, and the Lord will use him again to touch you, to touch everyone, and we receive our miracle. And all our brethren connected online, get ready for your miracle. The sister that testified now wasn't here physically. She was there back in our district. The power of God reached her there. So wherever you are, in Nigeria, in other parts of Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in Australia, North America, South America, all over in all the islands. Get ready for your miracle. The Lord will touch you. A big guy, amen. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Christiana Jen. I'm doing deeper life. I'm going to go to the TV. I'm going to go to the TV. I'm going to go to the TV. I know my cup work, I'm on Kijimana, Lua Bangalunio, Motumba, Maba Hansa. Now, who show a new younger or was in Vahana, Vasaya, go, no more priest to enjoy, no more priest to go rather, deeper life. Now, well, a miss sentence, I won't go home more. Yango, younger more, Vahan, Tomani, Lavagno, Tomatan, Tomani. Bangela Runyo, Matumba Runza. Nah, I'm washing my hands and a morning. I'm the cold. But young sick to my well and Sarah. I am more sick as Yinis and Benjama. Vanga, one man bear, Tumba man, one more young drama, Tumba, my bed. One more man bears, you don't say, I'm like you. So, what's the other day? Can't you? I'll tell you, Shima, can't you? One more year's Christo. Amen. Let's have the interpreter quickly. And after that, we'll listen to just one more. After, uh, and then the rest will be after the ministration. we we'll take Pray one more. Yes. Praise the Lord. As you have heard, our sister's name is Christiana Jen. She's coming from Angwanti location in Guagurada region. She received the Lord Jesus Christ as personal savior when... A pastor, the GS, came for the April Crusade of this year. And as a, also she has been actually participating in all the church programs and attending the convert classes, I'm a witness as her pastor. Uh, the problem she has been having for the past 11 years is severe chest pain and her breasts have been paining her and the breasts have been oozing out watery liquids, substances like that. And uh, according to the testimony, she has been applying ointment and so many things that people have been recommending to her, but there has been no solution. 
So this crusade divine connection came and on the first day as she attended in the location, even when she came, she came with the pains and all the symptoms she has already described. But after the prayer of the man of God, after on the first day of the crusade, and she was instructed to shake her body and everything, all the pains disappeared completely. The watery, the watery liquid had been oozing out from the breast as if she's breastfeeding. Everything has stopped completely from that day till now. And she's strong and you can see her shaking her body. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord saved her in April. Here, June, divine connection, total healing, complete deliverance. Salvation for everybody. A healing for everyone. Deliverance for all. For now, we take this last one and then we move on. At the end of uh, the ministration, we will take more testimony. Yes, sister, tell us your name, where you come from, and what God has done for you. Praise the Lord. I, my name is Sister Comfort Inama. I come from Gogolala Richo. Starting from this testimony, since last year, I have pneumonia. Whenever I go to the hospital, they will tell me that I should not take water, nor, or I should not drink water, or I should not have hot water. I say, why? During this time, I will drink cold water. During cold time, I will drink cold water, and I will still the cold water. I said, without this cold water, I will, not, I will not stay without it. Even my mommy encouraged me. I used to put on sweater morning, afternoon, evening, every day of my life. If they give me drugs, sometimes I will drink the drugs. Sometimes I will hide the drugs without taking it. My parents will not know. Reaching that, I say I reason that I will never take medicine in my life again. I didn't tell my parents. I will take. I said it within me. I say God will do his, do his signs and wonder. When the sickness goes, I the sickness come back again. I say no. I will never take medicine in my life. I will go to the hospital to take medicine. I say no. I will just drink small hot water and leave it. Reaching last this year, a planter to share testimony. They said no. There is no room for that again. I said okay. This year, this month, I will share my own testimony. And this testimony will not pass me by. I want to thank God for how God healed me, take away the sickness from me. And I also, and I also want to tell my pastor, whenever my brother is in the light bed, he will pray, we go to him. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done it. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord has healed her. Deliver her, and he will do yours also tonight in Jesus' name. Believe, you will receive. Believe, you will receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. A bigger amen. Bigger amen. We are getting into the realm of the supernatural and the miraculous very soon as the ministration will be coming forward with the anointing and power of the Lord. For now, we have the choir, and uh, 